Okay, so here we have an unboxing, setup, and first thoughts on the 3x3 Axler Shooting Riser. Now this review is made possible by the Gratis Group. Let's first take a look at how it comes when you receive it. You have two cases here. The larger one contains the platform and support rails, while the smaller bag contains the folding legs. At first glance, even though this may seem large, for a platform, it's pretty compact. This 3x3 weighs in at under 40 pounds. They also have a 4x4 option, but I would personally suggest that to those who are using it in a less portable way, such as for churches, concerts, or other large venues where your riser can stay stationary. Now you can still use the 4x4, that's just my personal preference. Now let's first take a look at what's in the larger case. First we have the easy to follow quick start guide. The riser includes a limited one year warranty. Here we have one of the two riser support rails. And here we have the included platform sections. With this kit, there's a total of three. So if you look underneath, you can see how they reinforce the platform sections to have extra stability. This lightweight riser can hold up to 450 pounds. Each carry bag has padded handles for easy carry and an information window for contact information. Now let's take a look at the smaller bag. This contains the folding legs. One of the legs has a foot level adjuster. Now this helps to level your riser on uneven platforms, but keep in mind that it's only one adjustable foot, so try to place your riser on a level surface for safety and overall stability. These legs are super lightweight and very strong. I'll show you how easy this is in a moment. I'll also show you how you can set this entire riser unit up outdoors. This riser is built solid and comes in at a decent weight. Its overall construction, it reminds me of a sturdy aluminum construction ladder. Besides being portable, I prefer the 3x3 as I felt like the 4x4 is a bit too high for someone to climb up without a step stool. Now with that being said, if you have larger gear, you may just want to go with the 4x4 whether you're portable or not. If you look at the bottom of the four legs, you'll notice that one has a black screw inside. That's the adjustable one, the others are not. So let me show you how to set this up in a realistic scenario. This applies to both photography and video work. Now there may be bleachers, people, or even fencing blocking your view. Now without a clear view, how can you expect a clear shot? I'll first show you how easy this is to set up by yourself. The first thing you want to do is grab the legs. They easily open up. Although this comes with a leveling foot, Try to find a level surface if possible. This has a mixture of concrete and grass, so the leveling foot will come in handy. Now if the surface is too uneven, I would suggest finding a new location, as safety does come first. Once the legs are set up, go ahead and grab the platforms and support rails. First, start with the support rails. Grab one and line them up with the matching cutouts and slide them into place. Now repeat this process for the other rail. Next, grab one platform at a time and lay them next to each other so they lay flush. Always double check to make sure everything is set up correctly before standing or placing your gear on the riser. So that's it. 
Now you can easily see above the crowd and get the shots that you need. I highly recommend this riser if you need the height. Besides events, I think this would be great for photo shoots or even creative video shoots for elevated angles. I even started using this for a table. If you haven't already noticed, you may start to notice it being used in some of my reviews going forward. For more information, visit axlersupports.com. They offer risers and cinema gear such as camera sliders, monopods, and even file focus units. If you're interested in purchasing any of these items, I'll leave the direct links below. Axler products are sold exclusively at b &H Photo. If this was helpful at all, please hit like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification icon to get future updates on future videos or visit www.howtoandreviews.com. Till next time.